Hello everyone, in this video I will take a look at the power consumption and performance of this X99 system running macOS. So we are currently sitting at 200 watt power from the wall doing Cinebench R15. Uh, keep in mind we are using like a low tire power supply actually. And this is the score and the reported power from power gadget was 100 watt for the CPU and 80 watt for the RAM, but I know that this is quite not true because currently it's it says that we are using 80 70 watt for the RAM, but we are only drawing 70 watt from the wall. So I want just to, to note that the DRAM power usage from Power Gadget is off for sure. And uh, we'll now run uh, Geekbench 5. Uh, also, the yeah the temperature is super low. Uh, around 45 degrees because those CPUs are very easy to cool as the die is enormous and so the heat is really really easy to take out from from that. Um, I'm currently running a very very low power GPU just to make sure that the readings are as much as possible regarding the CPU. Um, yeah so this is Gigabit 5. Gigabit 5 is really using very little power as always we are currently sitting at 80 watts from the wall so really yeah, now we pick we pick the 100 watts but yeah it's the single core and sadly for some reason the CPU is not boosting as high as Windows and this result in I would say 10% to 20% uh, less performance uh, this ma this machine has a turbo unlock in the BIOS, but macOS doesn't do that. So you will see uh, in Windows, uh, R15 is about 1,850 at 120 watts, while on macOS we are using 100 watts and getting the score. So uh, macOS uh, doesn't actually uh, utilize the turbo unlock. Uh, in the BIOS. Um, yeah, the, the E5 folder for this uh, well, is basically based on the Dortania guide. It's very easy and works very fine. The BIOS is uh, modified to uh, have all the settings like GFG unlock and everything. Serial port is disabled, UFI boot. boot uh, and the, the RAM timings are a little bit tuned to give like slightly better memory performance uh, yeah um, I will just show you the Gigabench 5 results and that's just a, a reference video for everyone that maybe is gonna build some similar system and want to check uh, especially if they see the very high DRAM usage don't worry that's not true um, just to check double check we're now using 180 watts from the wall and again remember this is very bronze power supply and with 128 gigs of RAM installed in the system which is not drawing 150 watts but maybe it's probably half of that like probably power gadget is showing like double the power the RAM is actually using uh, maybe it's I don't know maybe it's it thinks that the RAM is running at 1.5 volt while the RAM is DDR3L LR deems so these are um, running at 135 volts and maybe Intel power gadget sees the RAM as 1.5 volts I don't know the system is very responsive under Mac OS and it's work, works perfectly fine and this machine is used for uh, pro mostly for uh, video editing with DaVinci Resolve and uh, batch photo processing with uh, Capture One it will use a Radeon 7 GPU here you see another Radeon 7, amazing GPUs for Mac OS. And yeah, here's the score. Um, ciao, ciao, that's all.